Welcome to Eat My Words. It's the only show where you get to watch the host eat his own words. Let's take a look at some clips from the past. You can tell they're in the past because they're in black and white. Using hand tools sucks. <laughs> I highly suggest you get some sort of a power sander. Well, I suck at hand tools. <laughs> You're not going to need that hand saw. You're never going to use it. And why would I need to eat my words? Well, let me show you a video I made. Well, it seems like it was only a week ago. Okay, so today, it's Sunday, uh, October 24th. I'm on my computer, I'm uploading a file to YouTube, my uh, salad tongs video, pew, all of a sudden, my computer goes really blank, and, well, actually, the whole house goes blank. Why? Because it's mid-October, and we're having this really, really weird rain, and so here we are without power. It's been like an hour and a half now, and we still don't have any power. It's a Sunday. I was watching the uh, 49ers game. The Raiders game started like 15 minutes ago. I can't watch that. So I was out in my shop. I thought, I'm going to do some gonzo woodworking, man. Yeah, I'm going to try to make something with just hand tools. <laughs> I decided I'm going to make a little picture frame easel. I put uh, double-sided carpet tape on one of those boards and I'm going to line up the other one and this time I just want to make sure that this one edge I get completely square because well I don't really want to have to cut it down square with a handsaw. Now that I've got this side squared I'm just going to square off each of these sides. Now I'll saw those off. So I'm drawing on my inner Roy Underhill, and I've seen him do this a million times where he puts his thumb up against the saw to keep it nice and straight. And of course I have my straight line here, so hey. Well that was cool. Of course that would have been way easier on my miter saw. Okay, now I'll flip it around and square off the other side. Now I'm just going to draw an angle on here. I really have no idea what this angle is, but uh, hey, that looks good. I don't know if you can see this because, well, it's so dark in here, but I've got this one line that I've drawn down there, and I'm going to use the thickness or the width of this uh, ruler to draw another line right here. Now I'm just going to make a line, a square line connecting this line and this line. I'm going to make it right across here. Let me take it out here where it's a little bit brighter. Maybe you can see these lines better. Okay, so there's lines here, here, and here. Well, now I'm just following this line on down. Now I'm getting close to this line here, and I don't want to go beyond that, so I want to make sure I got my saw going you know, as vertically as I can and take it right down to that mark. And cut out this little angle piece. Again, trying to stay as vertically as possible. Let me come out to the light and show you what I've got here is two lines running down there and this is the center point. So now I can separate these, draw or cut a groove in this side of one and this side of the other piece. Uh, okay, like I just showed you, I, I made that line on there and I haven't separated my board yet, but I thought, well that was really dumb because if I separate these, I'm not going to have a line on the other board. So naturally I had to take the line around here so I was able to draw a line on this side of this board. Now I can cut them out. But wait, I had another revelation. All I have to do is, now that I've got these separated, is, and I've got the lines there, the groove that I want to cut, and the groove I want to cut here, is I can just line these up like that, put those in the vise, and I'll just cut out this one section. The power just came back on! <laughs> But I'm going to continue this project by hand. Well, just because I already started it that way, and it's a challenge to myself. Well, I've got both pieces in my vise now, and I'm just following this line all the way down. And 
and cut down the other line, the parallel line. And now all I want to do is just take a chisel and cut out that remaining remaining center part. Oh my god! So, of course, the power's back on now, and I'm watching the Denver-Oakland game, and Oakland is actually winning 38-0 to zero in the second quarter. And there's still seven and a half minutes left. <laughs> yeah, this is a good old-fashioned butt-kicking. It has taken a lot of chiseling and sanding, but it's starting to fit together, and you can see that I, I should have made these grooves a lot bigger to begin with, and I wouldn't have had so much of that to do. So anyways, it's almost equal there, and, and that's where the picture will sit. I don't have a design for this that you can download, because it's just so simple. Uh, so basically, here are your two pieces side by side, and you know, they go together like that. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll hold the camera here really steady and you can pause the video right there and draw your own. These two pieces just slide together into those slots. Well, let's see, like that, if I can do it one-handed. And, hey, it's not too bad. I was, you know, originally thinking about gluing this together, but, you know, I kind of like it like that. It just, you put it together grab a picture. I grab this from inside the house somewhere and it'll set up like so. Now it would probably be better with a horizontal picture and obviously I will uh, apply a finish oil or something to this project and be done with it but you get the idea from that and what have I learned from this project? Welcome back to Eat My Words. <laughs> Here's the finished product, guys. Um, I put an oil finish on it, and it looks really nice. What have I learned from this whole experience, and why do I really want to eat my words? It's because I've come away with this, from this, with a newfound respect for guys who can use hand tools and use them well. There was a really nice feeling that I got from working in the silence with just the sound of the sawing of the wood and sanding it by hand. Will I completely start using hand tools? No, because I still think it's a lot easier to use power tools, but I gotta tell you, if the power goes out in your house sometime and if you've got a garage and it's a daytime and you've got enough light, pick up some hand tools and, you know, give it a shot and see what you can make with them. It was really a lot of fun. I don't think I'll be doing it anytime soon again. <laughs> Visit me on my website, woodworkingformeremortals.com.